Well, we are about 165 feet from the bright lights of Studio A, where Katrina is right now. This is a part of the station most viewers never really get to see. But without the things that happen here, you wouldn't see anything. It is called TOC for short, the Technical Operations Center. Now, to be honest with you, I haven't the slightest idea how any of this stuff works. But I don't have to worry about it, because for the past, past 50 years, our crack engineers, like Mike Washington here, have been worrying about every little detail. From that day in 1956, when we replaced the test pattern with programming, through the 60s, the 80s, and the very pictures you're seeing right now, there is one common thread. Understood, thanks. None of these images could go from our house to yours without the work done by a group of people we call the engineers. It's hard for me to describe exactly what they do, as most news types are lost on the technical specifics of their jobs. But suffice to say, if it moves, makes noise, takes pictures, and has a lot of important parts, a Channel 6 engineer can fix it, clean it, or build it in time for a broadcast. One needs the other. Al Clark's talking about the relationship between TV journalists and television engineers. And he's right, we do need each other. And when Al talks, you listen. Because not only is he the senior engineer, he's the senior WITI employee. He started when the station was a mere seven years old. I was the bottom engineer at that time. I was 17 on the list. And over the course of the years, now I'm number one on the list. The history of WITI's engineering department is full of first. We were the first in Milwaukee to broadcast in color. In fact, we came out of the gate in color with a, at the time, cutting edge technology called the Dumont Vitascan Color System. In the mid-70s, we were the first to bring you live pictures from the field. This Dodge truck was Milwaukee's first live minivan. The engineers dubbed it Death Trap 6 because there were some exhaust issues funny guys, those engineers. Our technological achievements also include Milwaukee's first helicopter. But the thing we hang our high-tech hat on has always been the tower. The 1,078-foot Tower of Power off Capitol Drive. Years ago, uh, we called it the Tower of Light, and we put lights up on every leg of the tower and pilots use that coming out of flying out of Michigan. They use it to kind of home in on. The tower proved too bright for neighbors and eventually we cut back on the number of lights, but not the height. It was, for years, North America's tallest self-supporting structure. Al came to us months after the tower did. Both are standing tall, serving us well. In that time, Al's made it possible for us to broadcast from Super Bowls and political conventions. And I like being there with the, uh, uh, with the players, with the people, with uh, uh, being in the mix of it. And he's seen the technology change from film to videotape to digital news gathering. He's had to fix them all. He's seen the business change, too. We had uh, cookouts in the studio, and we, we played games out there uh, that you wouldn't do now. It was exciting at that time. It was an entirely different environment. It was a lot more relaxed. Uh, uh, now it has become such a more of a business. A business where rule number one is get on the air and stay on the air. We hope to do that for at least another 50 years. Now, back in the day, there was one source of information coming in. It came from a network, a live feed from the network. Now, things have certainly changed over the years. In fact, all this equipment behind me, it's now obsolete as we've gone digital. And there are literally dozens of what we call paths coming into the station. Different satellites from CNN, from Fox, from our affiliates across the country, from our affiliates across the street, our live trucks, our helicopter, and so on and so on all coming in sometimes at one time. This is a hectic place to be at times, Katrina. It's why they don't let people like you and me in there. We're told to stay far away from TOC. I was going to say, you're getting a little too close to the buttons. They have rules, Ted. You're not supposed to yeah, touch anything. I, I, I'm not allowed to touch any of that, am I? No, no, no please don't. Please, very politely, just get your hands off it and get back in the studio where yeah. you belong. That's the vibe I'm getting from in here. Cat, I'll beat you. I'll be uh, with you in there in just a few moments. Okay, congrats to the engineering department. Thanks, Ted. 50 great years.